So I review a lot of gaming gear on the channel and I also review a lot of audiophile gear. So it would make a lot of sense to cover products like gaming headphones or earphones but there is a reason I try to keep the two separated because gaming and audiophile gear have a very different approach when it comes to their product design. Now a request that I have been getting a lot is to make a video on gaming earphones. This is a question that I didn't think would become so frequent but now we have gamers who play on their smartphones and they want something for playing PUBG on mobile. Now when it comes to gaming gear in general, gaming chairs have a different aesthetic compared to regular chairs, gaming keyboards have the ability to set macros, gaming monitors generally have higher refresh rates and gaming CPUs have higher clock speeds. But when it comes to headphones, the companies that make the best gaming headphones are brands like Sennheiser and Audio-Technica. And the reason they are able to make great gaming headphones is because they also know how to make good headphones in general. But you generally can't use regular gaming headphones for gaming because they don't have a mic. But that isn't the case with earphones that are made to work with phones because they generally do have a microphone. So any earphone that has a good sound stage and a sound signature that isn't recessed in the treble will be good for gaming. This is because you will have a better sense of space if you have a good sound stage on an earphone and a flat or V-shaped sound signature will allow you to hear the gunshots and footsteps more easily. Having good bass will also make the experience more enjoyable. For gaming specific earphones, you will see brands advertising features like 7.1 surround sound but I really don't think that artificial digital signal processing is going to help a lot. So any earphone that is good in general will also be good for gaming. More example of this are my HE 4XX which are great for gaming even though they are not designed for it. And even my Adam T5V studio monitors are also good for gaming because they are good speakers in general and give a nice sense of space and positioning of different sounds. So if you are looking for something affordable, the Focalsense 100SI are a good choice and the Signature Acoustics C12 are also really great because they have a nice sound stage with nice and detailed treble frequencies. Now these are all wired earphones and we generally don't find headphone jacks in the higher end phones these days so you will need something wireless. But even technologies like Aptex LL face challenges in their implementation. So Aptex low latency has a latency of around 32 milliseconds which will be the best for gaming. But it's almost impossible to get it to work with the typical smartphone and even Aptex HD has a latency of 150 milliseconds and the regular SBC codec will also be at a similar or worse latency. So a much better idea will be to just use wired earphones even if you may have to use a dongle. And that is the time we are living in where companies have to exclude something as crucial as headphone jack just to seem more modern and there are people who are stupid enough to support this trend. Now I don't think that you really need something that is more resolving for gaming as these wooden earphones are as detailed as I would consider necessary for gaming. But if you go for higher priced IEMs like these AudioSense AQ3, they will also be great because they are good earphones in general. But on the higher end, you won't get a microphone unless you use a cable with a mic. So just keep that in mind. Earbuds can also work well for gaming, but they are generally more mid-centric and you will require isolation from outside noise and the ability to hear minute details. So personally, I would avoid them for gaming. So that is all the information that I think you will need. Of course, I am not covering many earphones specifically because there are so many great options. But with this video, you should be able to make a decision if you have to check out individual reviews of those earphones. So feel free to add to the discussion on audio gear for gaming by sharing your thoughts in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel with bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.